Has your car ever just died while idling, driving, or stopping at a light? In this video, we are breaking down 10 common causes of engine stalling and how you can troubleshoot each one like a pro. Whether you're a beginner or a car enthusiast, these tips could save you a ton of time and money. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Now, let's jump right in. Number 1. Faulty Idle Air Control Valve VACV. The idle air control valve regulates the engine's idle speed by controlling the amount of air entering the engine when the throttle is closed. If it fails or gets clogged with carbon deposits, the engine may stall at idle or when you stop at traffic lights. Common symptoms include erratic idle, low RPMs, or the engine dying unexpectedly. To troubleshoot, locate the IAC valve near the throttle body and remove it for inspection. Clean it thoroughly using throttle body cleaner to remove dirt and carbon buildup. If cleaning doesn't resolve the issue, replace the valve. Also inspect the wiring harness for loose connections. Perform a diagnostic scan to confirm IAC-related trouble codes. Reset the ECU afterward to relearn idle parameters. Test by idling the car and observing stability. Number 2. Vacuum leak. Vacuum leaks disrupt the air-fuel mixture by allowing unmetered air into the intake manifold, leading to engine stalling, especially at idle. Hissing sounds, rough idle, or high idle speed may accompany this issue. Troubleshoot by visually inspecting vacuum hoses for cracks, brittleness, or disconnections. Spray carburetor cleaner around suspected leak points while the engine is running, changes in RPM indicator leak. Focus on intake manifold gaskets, vacuum lines, and the brake booster hose. Use a smoke machine for more thorough leak detection. Once identified, replace damaged hoses or gaskets. Ensure proper hose routing afterward. Reset the ECU if needed. Confirm resolution by running the engine at idle and checking for smooth performance. Number 3. Dirty or Faulty Mass Airflow MAF, sensor. The MAF sensor measures the amount of air entering the engine, helping the ECU calculate the correct fuel injection. If it's dirty or malfunctioning, it sends incorrect data, causing a lean or rich mixture that can stall the engine. Symptoms include rough idling, hesitation, and stalling on acceleration. To troubleshoot, remove the MAF sensor from the intake tube and clean it using MAF sensor cleaner. Avoid touching the sensor wires directly. Allow it to dry fully before reinstalling. If issues persist, test the sensor with a multimeter or scan tool. Replace it if readings are off. Always ensure the air filter is clean and properly seated. Relearn procedures may be needed after replacement. Observe engine behavior during idle and throttle to verify success. Number 4. Failing fuel pump. A failing fuel pump can't deliver adequate fuel pressure to the engine, leading to stalling during driving or hard acceleration. Common signs include whining noises from the fuel tank, sluggish acceleration, and difficulty starting. Use a fuel pressure gauge to check if pressure matches the manufacturer's specifications. If pressure is low, inspect the fuel filter and replace it if clogged. Check electrical connections at the pump and test voltage delivery. If everything checks out but pressure remains low, the pump is likely failing. Replacing the fuel pump is often the only solution. After replacement, cycle the key a few times to prime the system. Start the engine and monitor performance under load. Test drive to ensure consistent fuel delivery. Number 5. Clogged fuel filter. A clogged fuel filter restricts fuel flow to the engine, especially under load or acceleration, and can cause the engine to stall suddenly. Symptoms include sputtering, hesitation, and reduced engine power. To troubleshoot, locate the fuel filter, often under the car or near the engine bay, and check for age or service history. If the filter hasn't been replaced in a while, remove it and inspect for debris or discoloration. Replace it with a new, vehicle-specific filter. Be sure to relieve fuel system pressure before removing the old filter. After installation, ensure all connections are tight and leak-free. Prime the system by turning the key to ON without starting the engine. 
Observe for stalling symptoms. Regular replacement helps prevent recurrence. Number 6. Failing crankshaft position sensor. The crankshaft position sensor monitors the crankshaft's rotation and sends data to the ECU for spark timing and fuel injection. A faulty sensor can send erratic signals or fail entirely, causing the engine to stall randomly or not start at all. Symptoms include engine hesitation, backfiring, or sudden shutdowns. Use an OBD2 scanner to check for related trouble codes. Perform resistance or voltage tests using a multimeter based on the vehicle manual. Visually inspect the sensor wiring for damage. If faulty, replace the sensor and clear the error codes. Ensure it's properly seated and aligned. Let the engine warm up and observe for stalling or idle issues. Road test the vehicle for confirmation of proper sensor operation. Number 7. Faulty alternator. A failing alternator can't charge the battery adequately, leading to voltage drops that affect ignition and fuel systems, causing the engine to stall while driving. Signs include dimming lights, battery warning light, and electronic malfunctions. To troubleshoot, test battery voltage with a multimeter, it should read around 13.8 to 14.5 volts when the engine is running. Lower readings indicate a weak alternator. Inspect the serpentine belt for wear or slippage. Check the alternator wiring and connectors for corrosion or looseness. If the alternator is defective, replace it and ensure proper belt tension. After installation, retest voltage output and monitor dash indicators. Drive the vehicle and check for stable power. Replace the battery if it has been drained excessively. Number 8. Engine overheating. An overheating engine can stall due to vapor lock, loss of compression, or ECU entering a failsafe mode. Warning signs include rising temperature gauge, steam from the hood, or coolant smell. Pull over and allow the engine to cool before inspecting. Check coolant levels in the reservoir and radiator, and top up if needed. Look for leaks in hoses, radiator, or water pump. Inspect the radiator fan operation and thermostat functionality. Replace faulty parts as necessary. Ensure radiator fins are clean and unobstructed. Bleed air from the cooling system to avoid hot spots. After repairs, run the engine and monitor temperature closely. Address overheating early to avoid severe engine damage or repeat stalls. Number 9. Ignition coil failure. Ignition coils convert battery voltage into high voltage current for spark plugs. A failing coil causes misfires, rough idling, and eventual stalling. Multiple misfires can cause the ECU to shut down the engine to prevent damage. Use an OBD2 scanner to detect misfire codes P0300 series. Identify which coil is affected and inspect for visible cracks or signs of arcing. Swap the suspect coil with a known good one to confirm the fault. Replace faulty coils and associated spark plugs if worn. Avoid mixing old and new coils in high mileage engines. After replacement, clear codes and test idle and acceleration. A smooth idle and clean throttle response confirm resolution. Regular tune-ups help maintain coil performance. Number 10. Bad Throttle Position Sensor, TPS. The throttle position sensor monitors the angle of the throttle plate and informs the ECU to adjust fuel delivery accordingly. If it sends erratic or false signals, the engine may hesitate or stall, especially when accelerating. Use a scan tool to view live TPS data, look for jumpy or inconsistent readings. You can also test resistance with a multimeter while manually moving the throttle. Clean the sensor area if dirty, but replacement is often the fix. After replacement, perform a throttle relearn procedure if your vehicle requires it. Ensure proper sensor alignment during installation. Clear error codes and observe performance while idling and accelerating. A properly functioning TPS ensures smoother engine operation and fewer stalls. Engine stalling is frustrating, but with the right approach, you can track down the cause and fix it fast. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more car maintenance tips. Got questions or other stalling experiences? Drop them in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and drive safe!